I'm Sjoerd, a documentary and outdoor filmmaker from the Netherlands. Even though I come from one of the flattest countries on earth, I've been spending a lot of time in the mountains ever since I was 12 years old. Today I'm swapping the rare Dutch sunny landscape for the snowy Austrian Alps together with Masta Discovers, a series of road trips across Europe connecting with expert craftsmen. I'm lucky enough to have enjoyed a lot of adventures in the mountains. However, I have no clue how skis and snowboards are made. Therefore, I'm traveling in the Mazda CX-30 to Innsbruck to meet Michi and Peter. They started Spurart, a company founded by two best friends based on a mutual love for functional skis. They started small but grew out into a full-fledged workshop where they built the highest quality skis and snowboards. We started from the point of view to make super functional ski for us. Everything we built with our own hands. We test them, we go up the mountain, we go out there and shred. Every ski is like totally out of feeling constructed. A ski is built up uh, over the core. We kind of shape the core in terms of the thickness profile. We have like several laminating forms. We put all pieces together, like bases and edges and fiberglass or carbon. We put it like step by step to, to one piece. Press it with heat and epoxy resin. And once this comes out, it's a piece of board. We cut it out, make it nice and good looking. Once this is all done, we have the tuning part to make the, the base fast. We do like the edge tuning, give the last hand on the look of the ski, put the binding on and then it's ready to go. After observing the entire process, I've realized that crafting a single pair of skis can take up to 50 hours. The number of steps involved can vary, with certain types of skis requiring over 100 different steps. And it's not like that it's hard work, because you go out there, then you hike up, you get your brain completely, again, reloaded. And then you have the fun part, like going down. So it's always like kind of getting clear again, if it was stressy before or if you have solved different problems or whatever. That makes the sport so unique for me like being up on the mountain and get strength again. Everyone is driving his car with his own style. That's uh, also like skiing. You go on slopes, you go on empty mountains, you go on beasts where are many people around, but you also like ride through them. So I think there are some, some big points about freedom and style. It drives us to become like better and better every day and we see our progress and it's just like fun to see like, hey, wow, we made this now. So quite emotional thing, like to have a pair of skis that is like especially how you wished it. And then you have the next idea, like hey, I could make it a little better. It was such an amazing experience seeing how much love and passion Michi, Peter and their amazing team put into building their skis and snowboards. Seeing them ski down the mountain on something they've built entirely with their own hands is truly amazing. While driving home, I noticed a burst of energy and creativity rush through me. It's something I only experience when setting foot in this breathtaking terrain. Stay tuned for the next episode of Masta Discovers, where filmmaker Tobias Schenach travels to Germany to learn about watchmaking.